check out how Trump's new VP, J.D. Vance, wants to handle Iran. A lot of people recognize that you need to do something with Iran, but not these weak little bombing runs. If you're going to punch the Iranians, you punch them hard, and that's what he did when he took out Soleimani. If you want to know how I feel about this, Candace Owens pretty much stole the words right out of my mouth. Quote, is it possible for us to get one effing person in office who doesn't immediately speak about how we need to continue bombing the Middle East? We do not need to do anything with Iran. And she's right. The truth is, this guy's a shill for Israel. And as is the case with all Israel shills, he's turning Israel's enemies into America's enemies. I'd like to hear from J.D. Vance why Iran presents an existential threat to Americans. Of course, he won't explain that because he can't, because it's not reality. See, J.D. Vance was propped up by mega-donor Peter Thiel, who has direct connections to Israeli intelligence and had a very sketchy relationship with the name we now know all too well, none other than Jeffrey Epstein. Since she puts it better than I ever could, let's read some of Whitney Webb's reporting on this topic. Quote, following the arrest and subsequent death in prison of alleged child sex trafficker Jeffrey Epstein, a little-known Israeli tech company began to receive increased publicity, but for all the wrong reasons. Not long after Epstein's arrest and his relationships and finances came under scrutiny, it was revealed that the Israeli company Carbine 911 had received substantial funding from Jeffrey Epstein, as well as Epstein's close associate and former Prime Minister of Israel, Ehud Barak and Silicon Valley venture capitalist and prominent Trump backer Peter Thiel. So if you think J.D. Vance is America first, just don't fool yourself. He's yet another American politician doing the bidding of this foreign country called Israel, a nation with socialized health care, socialized education, and a far higher standard of living than the United States. Yet we continue to send them 2 to $3 billion dollars every single year since 1999, averaging out to almost $10 million every single day. I wonder how much we could have used all that money on our own country, which, if you haven't noticed, is completely falling apart by almost every observable metric. But no, see, Israel needs it because, well, otherwise we're anti-Semitic or something. I don't know, man. Leave a comment and help me, help me make it make sense, because right now it does not. Anyways, till next time, stay safe out there, much love, and peace.